Hello everybody, I'm Mark, CarterFan98, and you're not. <laughs> That's my opening thing. Um, I'm here to make a, a, a contest video reply to Lefty in DV10. Um, never watched his videos, um, so I'll heard about him through Dominus Infinitus and uh, wanted to join on the contest uh, um, not in it for the money um, of course you know anybody likes PayPal any money from PayPal or a card I'd rather have the card myself um, but anyway um, the only thing that I really am PCing at the moment as far as base cards is Vince Carter. I got a few Giants cards because I'm a Giants fan, and uh, uh, one one card in particular from from um, a uh, Pittsburgh Steeler. So I'm gonna start with my number my number ten card, which is the uh, 1968. Tops Brand Tarkenton BGS 6. This card right here was given to me by a guy named Christopher in the Facebook group not too long ago and uh, just sent it to me out of the blue. And I really appreciate that. I'll never let that this one go because. Fran Tarkenton is the history of the Giants, and he's also a Hall of Famer, so this will go into my Hall of Fame PC. I'm looking to upgrade this one, so if anybody has another one, I, I would be glad to purchase it or trade it or something. Um, my number nine card... Um, would probably be this one uh, the 99 Skybox EX uh, Vince Carter since I'm, I am a real huge fan of Vince Carter since 1998 um, got a PSA 9 on my Vince Carter I bought the card because I uh, love the color, and also, if you'll wait, I will show the other card that goes with this. But anyway, um, this card was, um, I had the, the PSA 10 Skybox EX from 98, so this would be his second year card. And this one right here is numbered. It's not numbered on the card, but they only made 900 of these. And they issued these. The only way that you could get one of these is if you bought a Tough Stuff magazine uh, from 1999. I think it was August, which was my birthday. Um, the difference between this one, this one, and this one is this one has his stats on it, on the back of it. And this one has his stats, plus it says promotion, promotional sample. So this one was stuck in a magazine. And I'm trying to find an upgrade to this one, too, to at least a 9. So um, I'll be looking for that one later on eBay. And let's see, that one was 97. My number 6 card is uh, the Vince Carter Black Diamond Rookie card. Um, PSA messed up on the labeling. It says double, double diamond, but it's a single diamond, and I got a PSA 8 
on that one. I always like the the uh, uh, the portrait features. It looks like a uh, like a painting, like they painted it on the card. So it looks like a like a painting. That's why that's why I got this card. And my number, let's see, ten, nine, eight, seven. my number six card would be the 2004 Vince Carter Bazooka comic card. It's actually not a card. It's actually a sticker. They got a mint nine. There he is. Playing basketball. Thought that was really cute. Wanted that one, so I bought it off eBay. And let me count again. Ten, nine, seven, six. So I'm down to number five. My number five card is. The 89 score Dave Maggot Supplemental. Uh, this one got a PSA 9. And I think Troy gave me that one. Troy or David Bartholomew gave me that one, I believe. One of these, I think Troy did. But anyway, um, this one will never leave my house because he was part of the. Super Bowl. He was part of a Super Bowl back in the day. And Lawrence Taylor, uh, PSA 9. Uh, Ron gave me this one. Uh, this one, the reason I'm holding on to this one was because, number one, Lawrence Taylor is and forever will be a North Carolina Tar Heel. Uh, North Carolina Tar Heels are my college team, and that's where he came from, Lawrence Taylor. It's not his rookie card, but I'm not sure that's his rookie card. It may be. Might be. 1986 Lawrence Taylor. Sounds about right. Uh, 1984 Brian Kelly. Um uh, this one is PSA 9 also. And now we get into the good stuff. I think I'm going to do more than 10. Uh, my number, I think it's, you know, I've done 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number 9 card. 1993 Classics Jerome Bettis rookie card from the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is now and forever will be in the Hall of Fame, PSA 10. So I got that one right as soon as I heard he went into the Hall of Fame. I got it on eBay for cheap because <laughs> I knew they was going to go up once the next day came along. So it was like it was like five hours left in the auction, and that was when the Hall of Fame was actually on that day. And I found out that day that he was going to be in the Hall of Fame. So went ahead and got it. Uh, number two card would be the 1998 UD Encore Vince Carter Power Deck PSA 10. This is his rookie card. Power deck and it's a pop of one. There's only one graded PSA 10. I think there's four of them graded a nine and like 17 graded eight. There's no 8.5s or 7.5s. And my number one card, and this card was very, very, very hard to get back in 1998. And this card was actually selling almost as much as his SP Authentic card, his SP Authentic rookie card. It's the 1998 Skybox Molten Metal Explosion. 
Vince Carter. It's like a printing plate like they have out now, but it's a metal card. And I think Vince Carter was in one one per case on these on the in the boxes. There was one rookie card per case. Um, and the I think the 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 odds of getting this there was like 20, 20 boxes in a case and there was two inner cases so there was ten ten in each box inner case so that'd be twenty and you didn't know which box which inner case it was in so it was pretty hard to get. And back then, they had that they sold them by the packs. They didn't sell them by the box uh, because they were so expensive. I think they were like uh, five dollars and seventy-five cents a pack for cards because there were autos in, in this also. And Vince Carter autos back then were high. I mean, they were like. Nine hundred to a thousand dollars, but anyway, uh, I grabbed this one from an eBayer that is actually in the PSA Facebook group that I'm in, and uh, I'm pretty lucky to grab this one because this is probably his rarest one, uh, his rarest rookie card. As you notice that. PSA made a boo boo and put 1999. It's supposed to be 1998, so I gotta send that back to PSA. And this one is 2013-14 uh, Panini Promise uh, Dominance Prism Gold, and this number is four out of ten of Vince Carter. Got a 9.5 on the centering, a 9.5 on the surface, a 9.5 on the edges, and a 9 on the corners. Got a 9.5. This is probably the prettiest card that I have of his. And I have a bunch of Vince Carter base cards as far as uh, not graded, but they're they're in the grading waiting stage, you know. But this right here is probably the 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 lowest numbered rookie I mean, the lowest numbered card that I have it is that that is graded. Um I was thinking about cracking this open and sending it to BGS, I mean uh, PSA <coughs> because PSA I sell a lot of PSA cards and I collect a lot of PSA. But anyway, um, and I also got one more card to show you, and this is a newer one. It's not an auto, it's not a game used card, but it is numbered, it is a base. It's probably the uh, very first Odell Beckham base card that I've ever graded, and I pulled it from a pack of cards, and I fell in love with it. Just for the simple fact that it reminds me so much of Peyton Manning's 98, 1998 Fleer Flare Showcase rookie card. Uh, they had three different versions, I believe. It was Showcase 1, 2, and 3. And this one is numbered to uh, 25. It's actually number 23 of 25. It's Odell Beckham and as you notice um, PSA goofed again and didn't put mirror gold on it because this is the mirror finish this is like the showcase three because it has the mirror finish on it to where this one right here this one is the base it, it's, it doesn't have a rainbow finish on it. It's dull. 
So this is the base rookie card. It graded out of 8.5. And I sent another one in. And it got a PSA 9. This is 22 and 25. Got a PSA 9. But they fucked up. I mean, they messed up on that one too. They didn't put mirror gold on this one either. And it's it's uh, rainbowish. It's got a rainbow tint to it. So I'll have to send those back in the PSA. And uh, I'll put uh, lefty NDV tins down there in the details. So you guys can click on it and go join his contest. I believe you have like till next Sunday from what I hear from him. I don't know him very well, but he has a lot of videos to watch, dude. So if you got if you get bored, watch his videos. He's got some nasty stuff, dude. I mean, he's got some heck of nasty stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, and I want to say just for just out of saying this uh, to the collectors out there that collect autos and flip cards and everything like that. You know, that's all fine and dandy, and I do it too. I'm not going to lie. But just remember the roots of the hobby because, because base, the base rookie cards were, were, are the, the history of collecting, if it wasn't for card collecting base, people wouldn't have come up with the idea of the autos and the game used memorabilia. If that sounds right coming out, I believe it does. Um, base cards are basically where it's at and you know there are base cards out there that are worth more graded than an Odell Beckham auto some of them some of them are to a vintage collector they'll pay out the rear end for it um, like Joe Montana you know, Joe Montana's rookie card in a PSA 10 sells more than a 2012 or 2000, even a 2015 if you're lucky to get one, you know, gold standard or, or uh, you know, some other high-end, uh, you know, high-end place to get um into a break you know i get into breaks too but um most of the time i just give the autos away because number one they don't book for very much i don't pc the people so i usually end up giving them away or sell them cheaper than what i actually want for them just so they can get a nice home. Uh, but I keep my base cards. Because that's where it all started. And if it wasn't for base. We wouldn't have a card collecting community today. Just remember that. Okay. Don't ever shut away from the base cards. Because that's where it's at. That's where it's all started. You know. I hate to see kids blow their money on an $800 auto and then the next day they get hurt and then the card ain't worth crap you know it you know it makes me feel sad that somebody pays eight to nine hundred dollars for an Abreu auto when he's hot if you can wait the card will go down eventually it may not go down a lot but it'll go down eventually then you'll be able to afford it. Just remember that. But uh, I know these people, they just want it now. They want it now. They want it now. And if you just have patience, 
it'll all work out in the end. So just remember that. 20 minutes, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you very much, Lefty. You're a great dude, and keep on doing what you're doing. And Dominus Infinitus, get your ass to work. <laughs> Peace out.